about 10,000 million years ago in a galaxy called the Milky Way. Clouds of gas were merging into condensation along the spiraling arms. In one of the arms, far away from the center of the galaxy, one such clump of gas formed and grew in size by attracting more and more of gas and dust. A star was formed in the center about 4,500 million years ago and a disk of debris circled the newborn star, the Sun. In this disk, smaller clumps collided with each other. Sometimes they stuck together and sometimes they broke apart. These collisions took place continuously and finally larger clumps which we today call planets emerged. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and so on. In the third clump, conditions were suitable for the emergence of life. Simple cells to begin with. Conscious beings. The night sky has always fascinated mankind. Completely unaware of our violent origins, our ancestors amused themselves with stories as they watched the heaven fill with thousands of twinkling stars in the darkening sky. The seemingly countless stars were grouped into different constellations. Look at these bright stars forming such a distinctive shape. Our ancestors traced a hunter in this group. This is the constellation Orion or Kanpurush. The three bright stars in a line form the hunter's belt. Don't use your mobile phone. Moving east from these stars, we come to the brightest visible star in our night skies, Sirius of the Earth. Prominent star of the constellation Canis Major, which is the hunter's dog. These set of stars form Lepus, the rabbit, his prey. Moving westward from the belt of Orion, we come to Aldebaran or Rohini Nakshat, which belongs to the constellation Taurus. The distinct array of stars in a V-shape traces the head of the bull. The hump of the bull is marked by the stars of the Pleiades cluster or the Kritika Nakshat. Towards the north, 